Gujarat versus Hyderabad. This is going to be in Ahmedabad. Uh, remember one thing that uh, Gujarat is coming off one good win against Mumbai and then that loss against uh, Chennai. And I'm sure that loss is going to hurt them because that was a big one. It was a big loss. Uh, Sunrisers, on the other hand, coming out of a heartbreaking loss hmm. to post a mammoth score and that and that huge win. Yeah. So I think they're coming into this game with with different thoughts in their mind. But for Gujarat, yes, you're right. It'll hurt. That was that was a big defeat. Yeah, that was a big defeat. We have a look at the team, the Gujarat team, and see, um, you know, if they'd make any uh, changes to that. Uh, don't think so. They're not the kinds, sorry, who make changes. But there is a there's a gun back there called Shahrukh Khan. Ashish Nair had yeah. spoken about him before uh, it started, before the competition started. He said, you're going to see Shahrukh Khan be the hero. Uh, would you, by any chance, slot him in? You know what he's uh, what he's capable of, Michael? Yeah, I mean, you could. I, I, I wouldn't be panicking just yet. They've only, they've only played two. They've won one. I thought in that first game where they beat Mumbai, um, you know, I didn't think they missed Hardik. In the second game when they got battered by Chennai, it looked like they missed Hardik from last year. It's kind of that kind of... Situation. Shubman Gill needs a few runs, needs to get him off to a flyer. Obviously, yeah. the skipper. Um, oh, I think on, on paper they're a decent side. I guess Spencer Johnson, he's a, a fresh bowler for them. Um, he's done okay. So I, I think with, with this franchise, why, why they've been successful over the, the course of the two years is because they've been consistent. Yeah. So I don't think they'll be at that stage of just swapping and changing too much just yet. If they lose tomorrow, I think then it'll be the the time to start going, okay, let's look at a, a couple of new combinations. But um, against Chennai, they just had one of those nights, didn't they? And yeah. the night there, Chennai played great and they didn't turn up and play at all. That happens in T20 cricket. Yeah, yeah my fear for them is they tend to want, need somebody who will play 3-4-5, 3-4-5 so they can unleash the Millers and the Tevatias and the Rashids. And sometimes it's too late. Yeah. I mean, Tevatia probably ends up playing 100 balls in the whole tournament. Yeah. So by the time he comes in, it's often too late, as happened the other, that day. I mean, Tevatia hit 6 of 11, he was just not in. But he had no time to get himself in. So sometimes I think they feel it till too late. That is the role that Hardik Pandey was playing so well for them. Could you just move them all up? Like, I mean, Sai is at 3, Sai, Kisho, uh, Sai Sudarshan is at 3. Could you just move David Miller to 4, Tevatia to 5? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Or maybe Umar Zai at 5 and Tevatia at 6. Yeah, that, yeah. that way. And, then and they were doing that Rashid last year because Rashid was batting at seven. Yeah. And uh, you give Rashid ten balls, he can he can give you 20, 25 runs. Yeah. But they've got Vijay Shankar there at four, which means that everybody moves yeah. uh, a slot down. But you've just but got to find out what's best for you. Yeah. Perhaps at this point in time, yeah, moving them up. So people like Miller, Tevatia, Omar Zai, Rashid, they've got they've got that they've got an interesting middle, but you can't let the middle come at the end. No, I mean uh, the key to good is Shubman. You yes. know, he's such a good player. You know, if he can get consistent at the top of the order and start to get him off to, you know, flyers, he is that kind of player. If he is it there at the 10th over, he's got the game to go from 10 to 16, 17 and get 100. Yeah. You know, he's that good a player. And you would think for Gujarat to go to the stages that we've seen him get to in the last two years, I think Shubman's going to have to find some form. Okay, and then on the other side, there's the Hyderabad team. They got 277 in the previous match. So... They're definitely not making any changes no. to their batting. And anything they do from there is a climb down. Can you imagine yeah. 277? That was that was just insane hitting. Yeah. Insane hitting. But it was interesting. Abhishek Sharma got player of the match. Hmm. Because I, I thought at that stage when the when, when the runs start to just slow down a little, he just kept going, kept going, kept going. So they've got Abhishek Sharma in form. They've got Travis Head in form. They've got Hendrik Klaas who doesn't know what being out of form is. Yeah. <laughs> so they've, they've just got a, a batting lineup that's doing well. Mm. And in between all this, they've got uh, they've got Aidan Markram slipping in there. At some point, they've got to figure out what Aidan Markram's role is going to be because he's a quality player too. Yeah. But there's so much talent. Can you imagine Glenn Phillips coming into bat after uh, after Klaassen? I just find it absolutely tragic that a player like Glenn Phillips, who would make it to every T20 team in the world, is sitting on the bench. Or oh, Marco Janssen. Mm. Yeah. But Glenn yeah, Phillips. but uh, I think Travis said at the top of the order on these wickets, you, know, you saw what he did in the World Cup final, he just yeah. loves batting on these slow yeah. wickets. Did where? Did all right? Yeah, did I don't know, win? I can't remember. When did was that? When was that? I don't know, I think, I think Australia. <laughs> I think they might have beaten India <laughs> in the final. <laughs> My man, you've got a couple of legends on the wall that lifted a World yeah. Cup or two. So in our calendars, there's 18th of November and yeah. there's 20th of November. 
Yeah. And this one did, doesn't really, exist. Okay, you just erased it. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, it's okay. gone. Well, apparently Travis Head played well. <laughs> well apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> apparently, that's what we. Yeah. That's what the rumor is. Yeah, heard. I think he did all right. In so, Ahmedabad, where he's going I, tomorrow. And I think he plays quite well on these slower wickets, like we saw in <laughs> his game yeah. the other day. So, oh, at the top of the order, he's dangerous. He really is with those first six overs, and he's just got that. That, that mindset, he goes from ball one. Mm. Yeah. I think they're given the license to do that yeah. as well. So. Where are they on the points table? Uh, let's have a quick look where both these teams are. Uh, remember, they both have one win from uh, two games. But of course, the net run rate. The net run rate for Gujarat getting severely affected after that loss against uh, Chennai. So that's uh, made them slide I mean, down. After about seven or five balls, they really should have been four points. Yep. Really should have been four points. Yeah, yeah. but uh, of course, uh, Knight Riders got that win, so... The other thing top. for Hyderabad is when you make 277, that net, net run rate has got to be much better than 0.675, but yeah. Mumbai went hard as well yeah. and didn't lose by enough yeah. to allow that net run rate to go Yeah, on. Mumbai batted well definitely the other day and uh, kind of made sure that they lessened that uh, blow quite a bit. Player to watch out for, for each team? Quick call. <sighs> Hyderabad? Klassen. Oh, it was just a question of who you're asking first. Klassen. Yeah. Now, Klassen is... She both sing Klassen. Oh. She also say Klassen. Mm. So all three of us say Klassen. That's okay. We choose a different guy, maybe. Mm. I don't know. I choose Abhishek. Just for fun. Mm. Just throw it in there. Pick Abhishek Sharma. And uh, for Gujarat? Shubman. Okay. He has to. I mean, last year you saw how he picked up the side. He made 890 runs. No one scores 890 runs twice. Yeah. But he has to get a 600 run season for them. 600, okay. 650 run season. So, so who are you? Shubman Gill has to because I don't see. Look, Sai, there's, there's Sai Sudarshan, there's Ridhiman Saha, David Miller plays a sort of very good 35 ball kind of batter playing in that role. So who's providing the big substance and the speed? It's really up to him. It's it's a big test for him. So, so I'm going Shubman too. Oh, you both are, look at you. Both. I mean, it's easy to say Rashid Khan or something like a like, you're like a band, both of you. You're singing the same songs. 